and they had also a deal with Trine's founder, Justin Sun, the Trine Foundation, and other defendants in the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission lawsuit, have presented a motion to dismiss the regulator's complaint due to a lack of jurisdiction and regulatory guidance. Uh, the case started a year ago uh, when the SEC charged the defendants for allegedly offering unregistered securities uh, with Tron and BitTorrent tokens. Last year, the SEC charged Justin Sun and his company's Tron Foundation, BitTorrent, and Rainberry Incorporated for offering and selling unregistered securities since Tron's initial coin offering in 2017. Additionally, the U.S. regulator accused the defendants of fraud and charged several celebrities, including Lindsay Lohan, Jake Paul, and Austin Mahone, for illegally touting Sun's crypto asset securities. And uh, the search uh, new and forced to significantly see that we discover people murder. And, you know, that's really the way the worlds are. People that are critically managing those SERP prices that we know that filed on March 28 states. And yet another salvo in the SEC's ever-widening campaign seeking dominion over digital assets whenever created, in whatever form, for whatever purpose, and wherever they may be found. In the document, the defendants criticized the SEC's efforts to leverage highly attenuated contacts to the United States to extend its regulatory reach to predominantly foreign products. The SEC is not a worldwide regulator, and these attempts have gone too far and should be rejected. Um, moreover, the defendants highlighted that this case is fundamentally unlike the vast majority of enforcement actions uh, involving digital assets to date. The argument presents the involvement of the development of blockchain products that are designed to promote, reward, and democratize content sharing, not securities offering. So an SEC has ignored all but one focus in the projects, reducing the white papers in hindsight to investor communications about token offerings, according to the document. Um, by disregarding the technology purpose in governance of projects, the SEC has reduced the role of tokens within these projects to be the only aim for these projects. Consequently, the U.S. regulators' narrow reading doesn't hold up. Uh, the motion states the lack of regulatory clarity uh, as one of the reasons uh, for the dismissal request is the SEC has offered limited, often inconsistent guidance uh, it also argued that the regulatory guidelines offered before the TRX's launch tackled activities very different from the uh, token functions in this lawsuit. Uh, after the launch of TRX, the following regulation by enforcement actions generally did not concern secondary market transactions. As a result, the SEC largely relies on generalizations and conclusions to support its already thin, frequently indiscernible claims. The absence of jurisdictional power is a crucial point, uh, stating that the SEC has failed to show that executing personal jurisdiction is appropriate over foreign defendants. The defendants claim the SEC has made a strained attempt to establish a nexus between the U.S. and the products in the complaint. These efforts include turning the ordinary course of global secondary market trading, contests, giveaways, and free airdrops into unregistered and improper U.S. securities offerings. So the motion claims that even if the SEC uh, could prove their jurisdiction over foreign defendants and worldwide platforms offering services to the global public, uh, the SEC's claim still fails uh, to hold up, uh, even if it could be shown that uh, personal jurisdiction over the foreign defendants is appropriate here. Uh, the, the claims still fail for myriad equally powerful reasons. Um, uh, per the document, the SEC has failed to offer factual allegations and lay out the role of each defendant in each of its claims. Instead, it has labeled all defendant parties as the Sun defendants, asserting that they have done various acts to satisfy Rule 9b's strict requirement to plead fraud with particularity. Uh, and finally, the document highlights the uh, lack of fair notice 
that the U.S. regulator could attempt to pursue the claims in the complaint. Uh, under these grounds, the uh, defendants deemed the complaint as subject to dismissal. Uh, 